Hey guys, so I had this idea uh, for a little while now since I since I made that uh, video on reinstalling Windows 98 obviously which is pretty much a preparation for uh, what we're going to be doing in this video obviously so see so yeah, I had this uh, video idea on the back of my mind after making that video I had been doing that kind of holding off on that um, for like more than like a few months now but like anyways um, yeah anyways what we're going to be doing in this video um is we're going to be uh quick restoring this intel compact which is the compact Versario 7000 with an intel processor no real explanations there but anyways so what quick restore it basically does it pretty much allows us to uh basically reinstall windows but at the same time, also reinstall all the applications that originally came with the system, you know, when you first bought it, when you first started up for the first time, and et cetera, et cetera. So, like, all the programs and stuff that originally came with that specific system will be reinstalled alongside Windows. So, <clears throat> that's what we're going to be doing today. So, um, and as you can see, we got a fresh install of Windows 98, you know, from that from the video that we just did earlier here on our channel and we're gonna be uh, quick restoring it today. So I got two sets of quick restore discs that I that I got myself. These are recorded copies. Um, I found these on archive.org. So we're gonna be putting these ones in. So that, that was this one and this is this two. So just to show you, two discs right here. I can hold one up there you go so I have two discs here and we're going to be inserting disc one of two of the quick restore media so we're going to be putting it in the disk drive and I will go ahead and restart windows and I am going to pick up that uh, second quick restore disk that I dropped on the floor and so let's go ahead and take a look at this quick restore media for ourselves. This is probably the first time that I've shown this process on camera, especially for this channel. And this hasn't been seen anywhere else on YouTube. Now I'm not too sure. This particular wow, <laughs> quick restore error uh, number one eighty colon fourteen. Please compact. Please contact Compact Service or your dealer. Now that's the first time I actually caught that on camera because <laughs> like I've gotten something like that before. So um, yeah, let's try that again. So uh, yeah, it, it that was a start. Let us go ahead and uh, try that again. So um, yeah, it takes it takes time to get that uh, going. So compact quick restore is it gonna come up with that error again. But yeah, like I said, I I never uh, well this process this qu quick restore media well it hasn't been seen a lot on you know on YouTube or whatnot. So it's probably the first first one of them. But anyways, here we are. Welcome to Compact Quick Restore. This utility is supplied by Compact to provide an easy way for you to restore the software that was originally pre-installed on your Compact personal computer. Caution! Quick Restore deletes all the information and data stored in your computer's hard drive. If you have added personal files, software, or data since you purchased your computer, copy this data to diskettes, back up the data by performing a user backup, or save the data to an external device before proceeding. And that same uh, caution message will repeat for the other... Uh, screens as well so press the escape key to cancel press any other key to continue so quick restore will now check the partitioning of your drive if necessary your drive will be repartitioned to accommodate the original software so we'll continue oh <laughs> wow uh <laughs> this is kind of like what <laughs> rebooting please wait uh yeah <laughs> better yet i do have another optical drive in here that could help me with that so um 
that that shouldn't be a problem obviously <laughs> i mean what could go wrong obviously i have a, a light on drive at the very bottom that would uh, kind of help us with that important notice this compact disc or cd is provided for the sole purpose of enabling a compact personal computer owner to restore original pre-installed software to a compact personal computer Software provided on this CD is subject to the full terms and conditions and blah, 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 blah. Copyright 1999 Compact Computer Corp. The software that was previously installed on your compact personal computer will now be restored to your hard disk. Copyright 1999 Compact Computer Corp. Press the enter key to continue. Press any other key to cancel. Now, fingers crossed. Let's see if this works because we got weird error messages once we did, once we hit enter on that first part. But hopefully everything should be okay uh, once we hit enter. So we're going to be passing the point of no return here. So let's press enter to continue. Working. Let's see. And here we are. Here's the window that we see here. Quick Restore Compact Edition. Power Quest. As you can see uh, right there. Uh, now, um, now that window, uh, it shows... Uh, an even earlier compact Rosario model, obviously. I mean, because like this particular um, quick restore um, style uh, probably existed around in the '90s, obviously, because you can see, uh, like, like you can see there on uh, this image, that's a compact Rosario uh, twenty-two hundred uh, series uh, computer probably a 2240 or something like that you know <laughs> compact for Sario 2240 you know where's that computer that little small desktop computer anyways now it's doing the it's copying the data on here so let's hope everything works here obviously because like we had a few problems uh, with this uh quick restore disk obviously i guess it was probably the optical drive that probably uh, has trouble kind of reading it i guess but we'll see what happens in the next few uh, minutes so i'm gonna pause the video here and we'll check back to you guys up in a bit hello future me here so this is the part where i would show you uh the the part where after it goes that to that quick restore thing and then it goes into the os thing uh, this is the part that will usually show you that but i couldn't find the footage anywhere so here's a little uh a replacement for that obviously so after you after it finishes uh, yeah after it finished that um that part of that uh, quick restore thing it'll prompt us to um insert a diskette or something like that or something but anyways um well it wouldn't require that but like Anyways, once I got through that, and then I hit enter, or hit any key, or something, then it started booting into Windows. So, uh, let me give you a... Uh, I'll start this up for you, because I turned this thing off. So, um, I don't mind the noise in the background. That's coming from my AMD Compact, because I am doing something for another video. So, it will start up on this screen, Windows 98 uh, boot up screen with the... Microsoft logo at the top right there because this is an OEM install of Windows 98 a compact OEM install obviously and then once it gets into there we should boot into that little thing and then it will go into your usual uh, Windows 98 setup procedures like entering your name and company license agreement and product key and all that so now this is the part where I will proceed to the other scene and I will stop myself here and I'll let my past well, my past self uh, uh, continue on with this video. So yeah, so let's go ahead and watch that clip. All right, now it's saved all the info and then we'll click finish to continue starting Windows 98. Now we're not, we're not in the, you know, the box standard Windows 98 setup process. So um, right here, it's gonna look almost identical to what Windows 95's, um, you know, uh, you know, last part of the setup procedure is, you know, without all that, uh, you know, the side stuff and whatnot. Camera, so I think that's for the Logitech Quick Cam camera that I have uh, installed on here. Obviously, I will need to install the 
driver application software and whatnot later. It does take a little while, uh, you know, for as far as the floppy drive section goes, obviously, for these ones, because I have two floppy drives section on here, but you know, let's go through with it. Windows was unable to locate a driver for this device. Will not install driver now, so unknown device, yeah. <clears throat> So it's gonna go through all these things here, pretty much, because I don't have drivers. Um, well, this particular quick restore it doesn't have a uh, drivers uh, for these particular hardware that I have on this Intel Compact, obviously. So, so I am going to be uh, reinstalling those drivers uh, off camera, but you know. Um, I just kind of want to have this uh, particular setup uh, intact. You know, if I do want to like res restore it to like this configuration, I do also happen to have a, a USB 2 card in here, obviously installed in this thing. Now, USB 2 cards can be a bit hit or miss on Windows 98, but this one in particular, it works fine obviously i mean the other one that I used to have on here it was not coping well with windows 98 like it i had it installed and i got the driver set up and i started it up and then it instantly blue screened with that uh, crypt cryptic looking blue screen where it didn't have any info on it and then it just like um you know instantly restarted and that's why i had to leave out windows 98 for a while until i got a better one that should work with it Anyways, Windows has found an updated drive driver for Windows has found an updated driver for this device and also some other drivers that should work with this device. What do you want to install? The updated driver. Windows found a driver. One some some. A file being copied is older than the file currently on your computer. It is recommended you keep your existing file. Okay. PCI Universal Serial Bus. Okay, it's gonna go through all these things. I'll probably pause here because we don't want to go through all this again. You know what? We'll just click cancel all, all of these. <laughs> we don't need all of those. Well, not for now, I guess. USB root hub, etc., etc. Unknown device. USB root hub. Okay, now it's gonna set us the time zone for us, and we don't need to change all this stuff. Neither the time zone because I we already live in this area. So uh, we'll close that out. Updating system settings. So this part right here it looks similar to what Windows ninety five's uh, last part of setup looks like, and now it's gonna automatically restart for us. I guess. Oh wait. We're already here in the desktop environment. So, so uh, yeah, we're already here, obviously. So we're not in, okay. Money Express requires at least 256 colors to display property. Please adjust your monitor display options coordinate. You want to exit Money Express now and click yes. And it says Money Express is unable to start, which it's okay. I mean, well, I don't know, but here we are, Windows 98 has been fully quick restored with all the original compact uh, utilities and whatnot that was on here. So anyways, yeah, so it looks like I'm going to have to be going ahead and reinstalling all the drivers and resetting up, reconfiguring uh, everything that's on this thing. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and I hope to see you on the next one. See ya.